So this is a question from IMO 1996, question 6. It is a geometric question. In an arbitrary ABC, we chose a point K on BC, L on CA, and M on AB. If so, we have to prove that at least one of the triangle AML, BKM, or CLK, at least one of these triangles, the area is less than or equals to a quarter of the area of triangle ABC. How do you prove it? So now, let's construct midpoint, midpoints of AB, BC, and CA. And call them as uh, C prime, A prime, and B prime respectively. Meaning that uh, midpoint of AB it is a C prime. Midpoint of BC is A prime, and midpoint of CA it is B prime. With this, we know that if we join parallel to AB, likewise it will be parallel to BC. And finally, A prime, C prime will be parallel to CA. And note that the triangle A, B prime, C prime is similar to the triangle A, C, B with the ratio 1 to 2, 1 to 2. And each of the triangle A, B prime, C prime, C, A prime, B prime, and B, A prime, C prime and lastly, A prime, B prime, C prime is exactly a quarter of the area triangle A, B, C. If any of KL, LM, or MK lies on the triangle C, A prime, B prime, the triangle A, B prime, C prime, or the triangle A, B prime, C prime, then the result is true. What does it mean here? Let's say, for example, in this case, um, ML is lying on the triangle A, B prime, C prime. Then we will know that the area of AML will be less than the area of A, B prime, C prime. And it means that the, the area of triangle AML will be less than a quarter of the area of triangle ABC. To avoid this happen, then if A is within A prime B, then M cannot be within B C prime, and therefore M should be within C prime A. If M is within C prime A, L cannot be within A prime B. So we have to change L somewhere to in between C B prime. So, so this is L. So we will let A equals to BC, B equals to CA, and C equals to AB. And also we will let C prime M with BX, B prime L, BY, and A prime K, BZ. Okay. So in this case, the area triangle AML will equal to a half. AM will be equal to half of C minus X. Half of C minus X. And this will be half of B, half of B plus Y. Half AB sine C, sine A. For the area triangle, B, K, M, it will be equal to a half. This will equal to half A minus Z. Half A minus Z. And this is half C plus X. Half C plus X. Then sine B. Finally, the area triangle C, L, K is equal to half half B minus Y, and half A plus Z. 
sine c. And I'll call this area as S1, S2, S3 respectively. And this means that the, the product of S1, S2, S3 will equal to 1 over 8. And multiply everything together and you can see that this will be half c minus x, half c plus x. So it will be 1 over 4 c squared minus x squared. And half b plus y, half b minus y, it is 1 over 4 b squared minus y squared. And lastly, half a minus z, half a plus z, 1 over 4 a squared minus z squared. Let's write C here. And finally, sine A, sine B, and sine C. And this definitely will be less than or equals to 1 over 8, 1 over 4 C square, 1 over 4 B square, 1 over 4 A square, sine A, sine B, sine C. And this is equals to 1 over 4 cubed half AB sine C half BC sine A and half CA sine B. And note that each of these is exactly equal to area of triangle ABC. And we let the area of triangle ABC as S. So this will be S, S, S. So this is actually 1 over 4 S to the power of 3. So if the product of S1, S2 and S3 less than or equal to 1 over 4 S to the power of 3, it will mean that there must be 1 of the S1 or S2 at S3 less than or equal to 1 over 4 S. And the equality holds evenly if x equals to 0, and y equals to 0, and z equals to 0. So with this, we have proved the result. So this is my method in solving the IMO 1996 question 6. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you again next time. Bye-bye.